Hey guys, Eclipse14 here, and welcome back to Stick Ranger. Alright, grassland section has been cleared, and now the submarine section has been cleared. So now we have to enter the shrine of the second main boss of the game. Which is a notably infamous one. It has 40,000 LP, and hits for a truckload. And believe it or not, used to hit for much harder. So this is one of the few enemies in the game that had to be nerfed. 40,000 LP. This guy sucks. I'm go ahead and put all that there. I'm also going to go ahead and put the Blizzard 2 on. Because Blizzard 2 is very good. Alright, here we go. So we get a fire attack and there's also a freezing attack which freezes for 5 seconds. And this is why it's so infamous. Because this crap happens. Make no doubts, this boss is hard. And we gotta run this for 40,000 LP, so... Blizzard 2 actually makes this extremely easy, because you don't... It doesn't make you... First off, it slows down the boss, number one, and number two, it uh, doesn't really... Uh, makes it a pretty easy fight, if you can uh, utilize it. Unfortunately, you will have to revive a couple times, just because... Fortunately, I've got pretty good range on everybody. I guess at this instance, I'm just going to go ahead and turn the auto move on. And let's take it on. So yeah, the 5 second freeze time is actually the longest out of any anything in the game, really. It has the longest freeze time out of all the enemies in the game. Even your, uh, even your allies can't get that high. Because the highest level diamond only doesn't even move for a second. It doesn't do even a full second. And that's what sucks. Alright, we're at like 21,000 to go. And I mean, look at the magician. He's doing absolutely nothing but just causing ice. That's what's so good about Blizzard 2 and why I kept it for so long. Because it makes this boss freaking easy. And then of course, Poison Knuckle is really helping. And then there's the trip. Oh crap, I just realized my melees are dead. I didn't even realize Gladiator died. Um... Yeah, I've been paying attention to Boxer because his poison knuckle is freaking amazing. And... Wow. Freaking burned. Look at this. You just made... You just signed your own death warrant. The boss signed his own death warrant. And... Done. <laughs> It only cost me, what, three revives? And they were all very late. So that was the submarine shrine. So there's two... Th now, when it comes down to... Um, when it comes down to this, uh, now that I think about it, we're actually going to backtrack. Because next up is the desert campaign. And it's also kind of small. There's eight stages, and then there's the beach stage, which goes to this island. And that's it. Um, so what we're going to do here, plus that was actually extremely short and I don't want to skip into the next campaign. Uh, we're going to try something. And I am not going to like it, probably. Because the the drop rate of these cards are so low, it's not even funny. I'm talking about the Onigiri's card from the Castle Boss and the Gold Rush card from the Submarine Shrine Boss. We're going to take on... We're going to take on the castle boss for a couple rounds. So basically what happens here is that the Onigiri's card causes a 5% chance to have an Onigiri spawn. That actually makes it, that's actually a pretty good card. And then there's the Gold Rush card which in turn has a 5% chance of causing gold dropped relative to the amount of damage you've done to a certain enemy. And... Eventually, this weapon, eventually, that gets super overpowered, which is why I want it, because for revive money, it's a freaking joke. And yeah, the castle boss is freaking easy anyway. I mean, 5,000 LP, I mean, once, eventually, that's going to be very easy to get anyway. There's another vampire's card, that's fine, but uh, we still need the, um... Still need the Onigiri's card, so... Yeah, it's it's not gonna be fun trying to get this one. 
I will say that because I think the drop percent is like one or two percent. Not fun, so expect to fight this guy a lot. And sometimes you can get both at once, so that's cool to see. Another vampire's card. Uh, now that I think about it, should I equip it on something? I don't have any other weapons to use it on. I won't worry about it. Uh, castle again? Here we go. I'm not... Yeah, what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to grind for the Onigiri's card. In this instance. Uh, because the Gold Rush... I mean, Submarine Shrine Boss, I mean, I, even though I just killed it, it's still... There's still a good chance that I might get screwed over. Then again, maybe not. So, uh, we'll see what happens. Um... I'll probably run this one more time before I, uh... I mean, if I have to cut while I'm doing this, so be it. But, uh, all I know is... This won't be fun. It's not fun. Okay, yeah, I think in this instance it would be nice to put a Vampire's card on a, uh... Thing here, but, uh... Yep, there I go. RIP! And nothing again. Wow. Come on. Uh, I'll run it a few more times before I am forced to cut. Alright, so... Yeah, let's try this one more time. I'm just going to spawn the money. Even though it's not as efficient, it doesn't matter anyway because I'm going to get it back. Desert One is known as a gold mine for a very long time. Right, there's a thousand gold already, so... Yeah, Desert One is a good gold source. If I recall correctly. There's also the Vampire's Card 3 from the uh, Submarine Shrine boss, and if I get that, then that's going on the uh, Long Sable, because I already have level 1 on that one. Another freaking vampire's card. Jesus, come on. Uh, yeah, finding the other card is such a pain. It is such a freaking pain. Come on. God damn it. Again. Again with the freaking, uh, thing. Alright, one more time. One more time, and that's it. Wow. Are you are you serious? Um Okay, that sucks. Um I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and cut right here and see how many takes it does before I finally get the card. Alright, I managed to pick it up after what, six tries since uh I finished it? And I also picked up an extra, uh, on a extra Vampire's card. So I'm going to keep the Onigiri's card right here. The Vampire's card, I'm just going to go ahead and sell that. And, uh, that'll be it. I'm not selling that. Yeah, I will use that Onigiri's card. I actually use the Onigiri's card on the Boxer and the Gold Rush card on the Gladiator. That's pretty much how I do my stuff. Um, I guess now I'll actually... No, I don't want to run Submarine Shrine yet. As you noticed, it only it only gives one experience per area. Per area. That's stupid. Um, One experience per enemy. So if you go back to this area, for example, yeah, they only give one experience. So I can actually use this to reset myself back to 10. Back to a 0 or a 5. And in this case, I'm just going to go straight to a... Uh, base. Ah, crap. Uh, enemies started attacking. My guy started attacking. There's only six enemies here, so do that. One more time. And... Done. Let's 
six gold for your stupid butt, and that's that. So, I got the... I took down the submarine shrine boss, I got the Onigiri's card after several attempts, 16 tries to get it, and that's really all I'm going to do. Eventually I will go back to the submar <laughs> submarine shrine boss to get the gold rush card, but for now we're just going to sit with as is. So next episode we begin the desert campaign. This And I like this campaign, it's actually really good. So with that all said, thanks for watching, I'll see you guys next time.